Welcome to a CEO Insights edition of the Total Picture Podcast, coming to you in both YouTube video and iTunes audio formats. The one thing COVID-19 has done for streaming video is encourage everyone to improve their at-home capabilities to stream and participate in video conferences, events, and meetings. And that's the focus of our show today. I'm happy to have back on Total Picture the CEO of TA Tech, Peter Weddle. TA Tech has aggressively pursued a virtual conference schedule since this COVID-19 thing emerged. And I would guess if you are watching or listening to this, your email box has been flooded over the past few months with invitations to sign up for virtual events. My experience has been really mixed. Uh, what about yours? Please share your comments and experiences with us here. Um, so, Peter, welcome back to Total Picture. It's good to see you. How have you been? Well, it's great to be back, Peter. Uh, it's uh, It's been an interesting journey, I'll say that, over the yeah. uh, past couple of months. We've had to basically reinvent ourselves. Uh, it, it's, been a, it's been a challenge. Yeah, so back in February and March of this year, your business model and mine changed overnight. So, so tell us a little bit about your pivot from producing, you know, live in-person conferences and events on a global scale to transitioning to the virtual world. Well, as I said, it's been a journey, but it's not just been a journey for us. It's actually been a journey for uh, three groups, I think. Um, the first, of course, were the people who come to our events. Um, and that is both on the customer side, the leaders and professionals who work for enterprise employers, SMBs, RPOs, staffing firms, um, and on the industry side, the talent technology companies. So we had to really uh, understand what they felt was most important to them in a digital event and determine how we could do that in a way that would be good for them as well as good for us. So it was those audiences, but also um, we had to, you know, uh, think about ourselves in terms of what what can we do uh, legitimately that would provide value to our conference attendees. What would be useful to them, and not just another webinar online. Yeah, that you bring up an interesting point because, I, as I said in my open, my experience participating in virtual events has been really mixed. There, are a lot of technical issues everyone has had to deal with, and. You know, some of the the so-called virtual events seem to be little more than you know a glorified webinar. So, how how is TA Tech approaching these issues around, you know, the the technical issues and the presentation issues in doing a virtual event? Well, we really had to plumb our well of uh, innovation, if you will. We had to try to think how we could take a relatively limited technology, um, a platform like Zoom, um, and try to infuse it with some of the principles that we feel strongly about. I mean, we really believe that education is not just being talked at, but it is an experience of talking with one another. It's about peer-to-peer -peer conversations. There's a lot of wisdom out there uh, among both the, the talent acquisition and HR professionals and the industry side. And we think you get the most insight, you get the most education when those two communities are talking together. So we had to think about what we could do. And it, it, it's, it's been an ongoing evolution, if you will. Uh, we, we've, uh, uh, we don't do just regular webinars. We do what we call social webinars. Um, and uh, we've had to, sort of learn some of the rules of the road as we've gone along, but uh, we leave the chat function open at all of our events and we encourage peer to peer dialogue during those events so that uh, the attendees can talk among themselves uh, about what they're hearing, what they think makes sense, what they think they'd like to disagree with. Uh, and then of course, to use the Q and A function to actually pose questions. So it's a much more interactive experience than just your traditional webinar where you sit there and get talked at for an hour. Uh, but still it's, you know, it's a learning experience for all of us. Uh, you know, it's, it's easy to say, hey, we've left the chat function open, but you can throw a party and nobody comes. So we've had to kind right. of encourage people to get out there and talk to each other. 
Yeah. You know, you know, sort of on that same vein, Peter, you know, there's a lot of conversation re- regarding Zoom fatigue, and, and I've certainly experienced it. So how have you adopted what were traditionally full-day events into virtual events? Well, uh, in most cases, we limit our events to one day. If we go to multiple days, then we never do more than four or at most five sessions. But most importantly, we've been very specific across all of the time zones that we typically uh, provide content to. So uh, the EMEA region, uh, Europe, Middle East, and Africa, as well as North America, we're very specific about the times that each of the topics that we're going to cover are going to be covered so that people can tailor their experience to what they want to attend. They don't have to log on and sit there for the and wait for the third Uh, if you will, the third discussion, the third presentation. They know in advance exactly when each of the topics are going to be covered, and and they can attend the first one and the third one or the second one and the fourth one, whatever makes sense for them. So we've we've limited the duration of the events, and we've also been very specific about how you can tailor the events to your particular interests. Well, let's talk about one specific event that you have coming up very soon, uh, which is the Direct Employers uh, Digital Conference on November 12th and 13th. How has this been organized? Well, it's really the culmination of everything we've been talking about. Um, there are no presentations at this com- upcoming event. Uh, the description of the conference is strategic conversations about talent acquisition, colon, how much the funnel change. And what we've done is we've identified eight topics that we think are really important to talent acquisition in 2021 and beyond. Everything from DE&I to the impact of automation on the candidate experience, just a whole range of fascinating subjects. And then we've reached out to our uh, partner, Direct Employers, uh, and we have brought together two thought leaders, one from... Uh, our community, the industry, the talent technology side, and one from the uh, employer side. Uh, And we've asked them to uh, talk about, to get together and talk about uh, each of these eight topics. So there's two sets of thought leaders, if you will, or or one set of thought leaders, an employer and an industry person uh, for each of the eight topics. Uh, And they're going to begin the conversation with a 20 to 30 minute discussion. But after that, uh, we really want the audience to engage. Uh, this is a conference where uh, just sitting back and listening is really not the, the goal. We want everybody to have a different, a unique uh, attendee experience, to have a chance to get up on the virtual stage and mix it up with these two thought leaders on these eight important topics that each of these thought leaders will be covering. Um, So the way it will work is after the 20 to 30 minute initial discussion, uh, the people in the audience have three ways of participating. One, uh, they will in advance be offered the opportunity to pre-reserve a slot at any one of the eight topics. So they can say, hey, I want to ask a question or I want to make a comment on this particular topic and pre-reserve a slot. Um, Secondly, uh, we have... uh, uh, a, a obviously a Q&A function where people can on the spot interact with the thought leaders. And, and in both of those cases, what we're asking the people who have the questions or want to make a comment to do is to turn on their mic, turn on their camera, and just like you and I are doing, have a conversation. Get up on the virtual stage and interact with, uh, with the people who are there presenting. Um, And then finally, uh, we're going to also ask the experts themselves to provide some questions that we can uh, bring up if if the audience needs a little encouragement to get up on the stage. We'll we'll start off the conversation with some folks just to make sure that, uh, you know, everything is is. Uh, comfortable for the people uh, in the audience. So again, the idea is to is to give the attendees a, the unique opportunity, which you don't even get in an in-person event. I mean, at an in-person event, you're lucky if two or three people get to ask questions during the Q&A session. Well, here, we're going to have 30 to 40 minutes dedicated to questions and comments from the audience. 
I think that's really cool and and a really interesting way of organizing this because you know as you mentioned there there are a lot of issues now that need to be dealt with in 2021 and just because we can't meet in person doesn't mean that these issues don't need to be discussed and debated amongst uh, the industry peers. Well, that's right. And, and as I mentioned earlier, we believe that some of the best education, some of the best insights come not from sitting back and being talked at. Uh, there's nothing wrong with webinars, to be sure. We do webinars. But, right. but we think another important component of learning um, is discussion, is conversation, is having a chance to field opposing views, to get pushed out of your comfort zone a little bit, to have a chance to look at things from a different perspective. Uh, and, and we think that's, you know, that's probably one of the best ways to get some new ideas to take back to your organization. You know, so sort of on that same vein, one of the bullet points on your events page at tatech.org forward slash events that I absolutely agree with is this, what's special about TA Tech conferences, the people who attend. And I think that is so critical to this whole thing is because you have the right audience. Yeah, we're, we've been very blessed. Uh, you know, we, we uh, as I said earlier, we bring together really uh, insightful, innovative uh, people uh, from both sides of the talent acquisition, great divide from the employer side and the industry side. Um, and we put them into an intimate setting where they can have a meaningful dialogue. So we, we don't we don't aspire to throw conferences with 8,000 of your closest friends. Really what we want to do is hold small events that are really uh, designed to promote uh, engagement, designed to promote uh, interaction. Um, and the magic in that formula are the people who attend, the people who come to those events. They are the people who really, you know, they have they have something to share. Yeah, even with the success of your virtual events, I know you're looking forward to hosting live conferences again. I'm looking Please. forward to attending live <laughs> conferences again. So, Peter, take out your crystal ball. When do you think we'll be able to meet in person? Well, we have already made a commitment uh, to 2021. We, we are pleased that uh, we have a partnership with SHRM. Uh, we're going to be co-locating with SHRM, the SHRM Talent Management Conference and Expo, which is going to be held in April in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is open. Um, SHRM is going to do that show. It'll probably be a hybrid, but there will be an in-person event, as well as probably some of the program being streamed live. Um, and we're really looking forward to that uh, partnership, um, that chance to kind of get back there and, and uh, with proper protocols, you know, social distancing and, and wearing masks and so forth, at least have a chance to see another human being other than your spouse and your kids, uh, right. you know, up close and personal. Um, and then we're very hopeful that, uh, you know, we'll see a new vaccine come online for COVID um, and that. Uh, we, we at this point are planning to do in-person events again uh, in probably late Q3, early Q4 of next year. Well, I hope you're right. I hope, I hope this all works out and I hope we do have a vaccine and that we can start doing this stuff again. Um, you know, I don't miss the airports. I don't miss the airplanes, but I certainly miss the opportunity to engage and connect with people at events like TA Tech. I do too. Uh, if I never have to go through another security <laughs> checkpoint, it'll be too soon. But I tell you, I, I you know, it, it's uh, we are a social species, um, and uh, you know, despite the name social media, uh, there is no substitute for in-person, person-to-person contact. I think we've all learned that as a result of this horrible experience that we're going through. So uh, I'm looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. Me too. So um, I really appreciate you taking time to speak with me today, Peter. Uh, what what haven't we covered that you'd like to share with us? Uh, I, I think the only other thing that I would add is that um, we throw this term around thought leaders a lot. I'm I'm guilty of it as much as anybody. But at the end of the day, there's an extraordinary amount of wisdom out there among all of the practitioners and all of the 
people who are engaged on a day-to-day -day basis in trying to help organizations acquire talent and to help organizations acquire the technology that will enable them to do that uh, acquisition easier and, and more effectively. Um, so I think, you know, uh, I, I would say to everyone out there, you have a lot to share. And I would, I would urge you to remember what your mother and father taught you when you were a kid. Uh, and that is, it's nice to share. Uh, come to our events, uh, share some of that wisdom, learn from some of your colleagues who are doing the same. I think, I think the experience will be more engaging, more educational, more empowering. Uh, and at the end of the day, you'll take more back to your organization. Great. Well, again, thanks so much for taking time to speak with me. One last thing. What's the best way for uh, folks to connect with you? Uh, well, we have, uh, uh, you know, a very robust website. So it's uh, tatech.org. That's T-A-T-E-C-H dot org. Uh, or certainly, if you want to contact me directly, my email address is Peter Weddle, all one word. That's P-E-T-E-R-W-E-D as in David, D as in David, L-E at tatech.org. Awesome. Well, Peter, thanks so much. And uh, best of luck to you and to all of us in getting through uh, the next few months and, and getting back to uh, live events again. Thank you, Peter. It's been great to be here. Thank you. As we look forward to 2021, our goals and aspirations for the new year, one thing is certain. For the foreseeable future, Zoom rules, which means video rules. And that's where I come in. I can help you get to next level video capability and help you deliver professional quality video to your team, your clients, your prospects, and in doing so, build your reach and influence. I can help you create exceptionally well-crafted videos, what I call vital videos. You have a story to tell. Through my skill as an interviewer, I can uncover what makes you unique and how you best project your leadership and values. Video rules, and together we can create a winning performance. To learn how I can help you level up through video, send me an email, peter at totalpicture.com. Let's start writing a 2021 success story.